hi all so today in this video we will be covering about nested iframe or FIP so in our previous video already discussed about how we can handle uh, frame or iframe with the help with uh, playwright and python so this video is dedicated for nested frame or iframe and if you are not sure about what is the difference between iframe and frame so that's basically if you have a diff frame is basically used to divide a page into multiple sections with new content in each section but iframe is used to embed the content of the external website into the web page okay so if you have a website which you wanted to use in another uh, another website so in that case you can use iframe uh, so that it can be embedded in that so now let's come to pycharm uh, let's create one python file and uh, let's give it a name at test nested frame so uh, basically uh, it, it, uh, the approach would be same for frame and iframe if you have a frame in the if you know that how to handle frame then if you get iframe the approach would be same mm, i mean in your code you do not have to do any changes maybe your locator would get changed but otherwise the approach would be always same okay now let me create this file okay now i am using this website internet hiroku app.com so i will give this url in the description so that you can use it and now what is this uh, page is doing right so this is basically there is four sections are there right one two three four and basically th this would be on within iframe or frame so let's check that whether it's a frame or not and one more thing you should notice here it's saying like frame source so that means this is a this is under iframe or frame okay now we can see here uh, there is no iframe but this is a frame so basically there is an, i mean you can see there is no url or I mean there should be uh, there is no src tag. I mean the src tag is there but there is this is not a URL right so <clears throat> URL is not there that is why it is not I frame I mean, I mean there is no URL is embedded here or another website is not embedded in this section so that is why it is using frame only okay now uh, what we have to do first uh, if I just close it so first there is a frame set and here if I highlight here you can see so if I highlight if I hover over here you can see it is highlighting the top part right so it says like frame top okay now if I hover over here it is highlighting the bottom one so it is frame bottom that's it so there is two frame basically this is one frame and this is another frame now if I expand it now you can see here if i hover over it it's highlighting the left panel right left section so basically this is nested inside the parent frame so this is the parent one and this is the child right and there should be three child so this is the second one and this is the third one i hope you got it like how this frame structure is defined in the dom okay so now you can like you can under I mean now like, now you can uh, I mean you can predict like how you can x I mean how you can control in your code so first you have to find the frame this top one let's say you have to print this left text okay what you what will you do so first you will get this top one from the top one will get the left one right and then you will print this value simple so let's do that then and let me take the template directly and i'm removing it okay so let me update the url okay and we do not need time dot sleep so i'm removing it this two part is also not needed now we reach to this page and now uh, what we have to do uh, we have to first um, get the locator here we do not have to take the locator right so basically what we can do 
page dot main frame we already know like there is a main frame concept in your if you do haven't if you haven't seen the previous video which is part two of this uh, frame i frame handling con uh, so you can go and watch that okay in the playlist it should be the just previous video okay i will uh, in i will try to give the link of that video in the description okay so page dot main frame is actually giving you the the first top frame okay and so this should be i can take in the another uh, variable so mf and now from mf we can go to the child frames right so this is my child frames now if i want to see how many child frames are there so that also i can do so i can just um, i can do something like this child frame in mf dot frames child frames and here i can print uh, child frame dot name right now let's run it so i can give the pi test minus s and then i can give dash dash headed and then it should be some uh, it should be basics and uh, it should be taste underscore uh, no i have to change it taste nested frame so nested frame okay so let's uh, execute it and let's see what is happening i mean ideally it should print give me this name of this child frame so one should be like top frame another is bottom frame something like that i don't remember we can see it in the console so it started and it closed so now see let's see so it first printed the frame top and frame bottom so we got the first two parent frame right i mean it, it can be any frame or frame one frame two now this is the parent frame inside this frame there should be another two child frame another three child frame right so this is one left frame middle frame and right frame so let's print that too okay we can do that as well so let's try that so uh, what you can do like um, okay so now what we can try like uh, this page dot main frame okay and dot child frames right and what this child frames is returning this is returning one list so if you hover over it you can see it is basically returning a list of frame right so i can just use the index option so that means this one is the top frame and what would be the bottom frame then bottom frame should be the index of one because the list starts from in the index zero i mean this is the first and this is the second one okay now we got the top frame now left frame okay so the left frame or left top frame right left top frame would be this one so this is now becomes the parent frame right from this we would get the child frames again so it should be like 0 I hope you are getting it right so basically from the top frame this is the top frame right this is the top frame from the top frame we are getting its child frames so what is the what are the child frames of this top frame left middle and right so we are accessing the first one so that means this one so this should be our left top frame right now you can easily replace this part with this one because that's why we created this variable right so that it would be easy to understand 
now the middle one right so the middle top frame now i think you can easily figure it out how it is happening or how we are doing it so you can guess it right it is one and what would be the uh, right one right so right top frame it should be top frame dot child frames and then we have to pass two because that is why how list is working i mean list that is how list works okay now let's print the text so print left top frame so now what we have to print okay so we reach to this frame okay now we have to print this body right so this left left text is available within this body tag right so we can easily see like something like that we can do so uh, now we can print like this is the left frame so we know like uh, in that one of our previous video where we did uh, the first frame so handle i frame this one so here we have seen like uh, we have used this this in this way right page dot frame page dot frame locator also we have used this way so frame element i mean dot locator right so this is the frame so from the frame element we went to the actual uh, locator which we want to or where we want to do some operation click operation or get text operation right so the same way we can do it here as well so left of iframe dot locator and what is the locator locator is the body simple right and this is CSS locator and now what we have to do we have to do the text content or inner text simple and if you are not sure about what is the difference between inner text and text content uh, you should uh, there is a one other video I have made uh, on the difference between inner text and text content but basically it's uh, like inner text just inner text will uh, give you just the visible text but text content will also provide you the hidden hidden text uh, which is not displayed okay and um, okay now let's see whether it's working or not okay cool it's work it works right and uh, it is like it's printing this left text in the console okay now let's print the other two text so that we can easily do so here we have to use the middle top frame and the next one we can use the right top frame okay here now if i run it so we can see like our target is achieved so we wanted to print left middle and right so it's getting printed properly right so this is how we should or we can handle uh, the nested frames or iframes in any web application where we have the iframe or frame so i think it's pretty easy so i mean if you can first you have to get the top frame from the top frame we get the child frames and from uh, if there is another uh, child is there or i mean like let's say uh, inside this right top frame there is another two frames are there so we should how do you handle it so from right top frame you, you do use like child frames and then you can pass the indexes like zero one or whatever number so that's how we can handle the nested frames or iframes okay so i hope you liked it and 
if you have not subscribed to my channel please do subscribe and also press the bell icon for the notification thank you for watching